are here at my offices, my headquarters, and this is the official Kylie Cosmetic Tour. Waist trainers, shape-up shoes, Fit Tee, Pepsi, schools, churches, the Kardashians own everything, and now they're coming for the NBA. And if you're seeing my face, you know I'm here to talk about it. This is important. Let's talk about the Kardashians for a second. Because this morning, they announced a Skims partnership with the NBA. Skims is Kim Kardashian's underwear brand that I guess is popular. I don't know. They've gone men. They've got some hot black men wearing these clothes uh, for the NBA. I don't know who asked for this. Nobody wants this. Nobody wants this. Nobody wants this. And I'm, I'm doubling down on that. Nobody wants this. Now, maybe the NBA is thinking they'll expand their audience with a whole fresh set of Kardashian-loving women. Uh, but I'm going to guess it's not going to happen. Lamar Odom, and I, I'm going to get into it. Let's take this all the way back to how did I first learn about Kim Kardashian? It's because of Paris Hilton. Paris Hilton was like basically nobody. And then she was kind of manipulated into being in the Girls Gone Wild scene. And then like a sex tape of hers actually leaked. That was not great for her emotionally, but did blow up her brand nationally. The minute I saw Kim K's sex tape, yeah, I saw it like 20 years ago whenever it came out. I was like... This don't feel the same. And I don't mean that in some weird way. What I mean is one was clearly like, damn, that's like fucked up. And the other one was like, why are they talking to the camera? Check it out. We about to do it. Girls going wild in Cabo. Kimberly going wild in Cabo. It is a performance meant to gain an audience. And yeah, I had to start with that because I don't think anyone really dives into the sex tape from like a, yeah, you watched it. We all watched it. It's the most watched sex tape of all time. We can get past that. It was designed to be that from my perspective. I played professional basketball and I started noticing something weird. It was like Kim K blew up, but then like she was inaccessible because she was dating Reggie Bush back then, back in like 2006 or whenever I graduated college. But the guys could get the sisters... And I remember Rashad McCants was the first domino in my life to fall. Rashad McCants played at North Carolina. Then he played, uh, then he was training in Sacramento because I think he was on the Kings. And he was dating Khloe Kardashian. And I remember being like, no, he and I didn't talk. I'm not pretending we're friends. But I remember being like, she's the one you, <laughs> what? <laughs> and I remember there was like a whole debate in this, in this arena, like in the, in the training facility, like who would and who wouldn't have sex with Khloe Kardashian. And I was firmly team Wooden, and I was shocked at how many were team yes. Uh, and it became clear to me that, yeah, I only saw the pictures. But at the club, when everything is dark and everybody's turned up, these women go to work. And I've seen it. I've been, I've been hollered at by Larsa Pippen, and it's so fucking weird. It was like this entourage of, like, older ladies, like, encircled me, and they're like, you know, that's Larsa. I'm like, I don't care. But... That clearly works for their claim. I really disconnected from them while the world kept blowing them up. And something changed when they partnered with the NBA. It went from being, oh, I'm going to approach these dudes in the club to we are the club. Like, they just basically bought black America today. Like, as far as I feel about it, a direct pipeline. Did you know that OJ Simpson was represented by Rob Kardashian in the, during his trial in uh, 1994. A lot of people speculate that Khloe Kardashian's actual dad is O.J. Simpson. I don't know. I always thought Chris was a cute girl. She was really nice. Um, but, you know, I was, <laughs> I was dating nuts. I you know, you date know the... I know this. From the moment I, I, like, they blew up and I already knew about the O.J. Simpson thing, it was like, this feels fucking weird, man. <laughs> It's just really fucking weird. And then Rob Kardashian dies and she, uh, Chris marries Bruce Jenner. And like, that's when all this stuff starts taking off, like riding that OJ train to like an untimely death of a very wealthy man that left all these women with a lot of money and they never built shit. So after that, Chloe starts publicly dating Lamar Odom. And I remember this because Chloe to me was such like, like a nobody, even to like on the show, I think she was probably the least thought about 
character on their reality show. Uh, but then she started dating Lamar Odom, and there was that it, it showed that the Kim wasn't the only one with NBA power, I guess, right? Because Kim had already married and divorced Chris Humphreys. Had uh, uh, I don't know, I forget all of her NBA guys because it was so long ago. And then because Chloe took over with Lamar Odom first, and it became this like national story. And Lamar Odom literally like had a complete m- mental breakdown just being around these people. Now, he blames a lot of what happened in their relationship on him, and I'm sure, like, I know the NBA. Like, <laughs> I'm sure there was not a lot of great stuff, but I haven't seen a lot of guys turn to, to crack. To crack! The Kardashians got Lamar Odom addicted to crack, and the NBA's like, come on in. Do you understand how many scams these people run and you just got into bed with them business-wise? NBA, yes, I'm looking at you. When I said they have a school, I wasn't lying. It costs $105,000 a year. And the only real class is you get a one-on-one meeting with Kris Jenner. Drives us. Passion is what keeps us up at night. The impact we want to make, now that's what guides us towards success. Your future is waiting. What is your legacy? Certificate, that means absolutely nothing. This is not an accredited college, not an accredited school, or whatever you get at this school will not be transferred to an actual legitimate college. They have a church, I wasn't lying. They don't have a facility. The church that Kris Jenner founded, and I use church loosely, it really seems as though it's kind of a little Kardashian tax haven. Life Change Community Church was the original name of Kris Jenner's church, and it was changed to California Community Church. They changed the name after they failed to pay their taxes, so they needed to rebrand the church. The church is led by disgraced pastor Brad Johnson. Members of this church have to pay a thousand dollars a month to remain a member and they're also expected to donate 10 percent of their income they've been sued out the ass for everything from cosmetics to their bullshit shoes and you just wrapped shay gilders alexander in this bullshit wow i have to keep going to my notes because they've done so many things they've changed their faces and their bodies to look black, darken their skin to look black, accentuated body parts they don't really have to look black. And now they partner with the NBA. Like that is so fucking crazy to me. They bought my experience. Does that not like piss anybody off? A bunch of scammers just bought the NBA. But they didn't just buy the NBA. Because here's, here's how I heard. I saw this post about Kim K like five times this morning. Hype beast. High snobiety. NBA. Uh, 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 the individual players pages. Other pages picking it up and doing all this collaborative shit where I'm like, every sports social media is throwing Kim Kardashian at me. There's no safe space anymore. Literally, you're forcing me to just turn it all off. I don't want to see her. I don't. Like at all, like literally at all, not even a little bit. And it feels like it's unavoidable at this point, right? Like, where can I go where I don't have to fucking see them? What other thing, what, um, what am I as an artist and a black man going to create that one day they're going to say, I'm going to steal that. You know, how rich these people were before they started a billion scams because their dad got off OJ. I don't even know how to like, this is just capitalism's like anus. They're the, they're the, like the pieces of shit coming through because hype beast, high snobiety, ESPN, all these things, they started as places I would go to get sports or you know what hype beast started as a place where cool shit was just being aggregated. Nothing's cool on it anymore. It's just whoever pays for the space gets to be on hype beast. So I just basically skip it now. I'm thinking about unfollowing just but I still want to know if something new is coming, but nothing new is coming. The Kardashians are coming twice. Really, really NBA, really, really, really NBA. Like, like I only played like eight weeks on an NBA floor at all. I was not good enough for a Kardashian to want to fuck me. Who would have thought years after retirement, they just did. <laughs> 